Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing Thai O visas. We're specifically discussing this in the context of volunteers. Sometimes this is discussed in the context of NGOs, non-governmental organizations or charitable organizations here in the kingdom or operating here in the kingdom. And again, as I preface most of the videos discussing Thai O visas, the O category is a miscellaneous placeholder visa category. It literally means other, O for other, and it's just miscellaneous. It, it falls under the section of the law, specifically the Thai Immigration Act of 1979, which stipulates that there could be any other reason as determined by ministerial regulations. It's, it's the catch-all category. So they, they sort of wedge a lot of different types of folks under the O moniker. So, for example, marriage visas fall under O. Those with Thai children can obtain an O visa. Those who are in retirement status here in Thailand can obtain an O visa. And as noted in the title of this video, so too can volunteers. Now, volunteers have been kind of stuck in a kind of limbo be, or kind of caught in a, in a seam, if you will, of the current regulatory structure as it pertains to entry to Thailand during this sort of emergency decree period that we are dealing with in response to the COVID-19 phenomenon. So the business visa holders who have a work permit or work authorization can come to Thailand. And there is even talk of further business visa holders, even possibly without work permits, to come to Thailand. Meanwhile, O visa holders who are married to Thais, have Thai family, specifically children and possibly parents, may be able to enter Thailand. However, as we've noted in other videos, O retirees may not. Meanwhile, O-A visas have specifically been granted ability to obtain a certificate of entry to Thailand. Concurrently, O-X visas have been provided that same latitude as well. However, specifically, they have yet to mention in any of the categories O volunteers. Folks, folks who are using an O visa to come to Thailand for volunteer purposes. And as of the time of this video, it does not look like that is going to change. So we will keep you updated on this channel. There may be circumstances where volunteers may be able to get into Thailand depending on the overall fact pattern which pertains to their case. So it may be a good idea to contact a legal professional if you are a volunteer looking to come to Thailand to gain some insight and guidance into how best to proceed.